हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल श्री टेक एजुकेशन थ्रू दिस चैनल वी आर स्टडिंग वेरियस सब्जेक्ट्स टेक्निकल सब्जेक्ट्स और द चैप्टर्स इन वेरियस टेक्निकल सब्जेक्ट्स इन डिटेल नाउ फॉर टूडेज वीडियो आई हैव सिलेक्टेड द प्लास्टिक प्रोसेसेस चैप्टर इन द प्लास्टिक इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ थर्मो प्लास्टिक मटेरियल एज वेल एज प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ थर्मोसाइडिंग प्लास्टिक मटेरियल व्हाट आर द वेरियस प्रोसेसेस फॉर प्रोसेसिंग थर्मोप्लास्टिक्स एज वेल एज टू प्रोसेस द थर्मोसाइडिंग प्लास्टिक मटेरियल्स वी हैव स्टडीड ऑलरेडी दैट थर्मोप्लास्टिक्स कैन बी रिसाइकल थर्मोसाइडिंग प्लास्टिक्स कैन नॉट बी रिसाइकल्ड अगेन एंड अगेन देर फॉर वट एवर प्रोसेस वी आर प्रेफरिंग टू प्रोसेस द थर्मोप्लास्टिक मटेरियल एंड थर्मोप्लास्टिक थर्मोसाइडिंग प्लास्टिक मटेरियल आर सम वॉट डिफरेंट देर फॉर वी विल डिस्कस दीज techniques one by one through four to five video lectures in today's video lecture we will study injection molding process in detail so let us start injection molding generally injection molding is preferred for processing the thermoplastic materials the thermoplastic materials are heated and then pressurized in the mold so that they can be formed into different shapes isn't it in injection molding process below one animation is shown of this injection molding process injection molding process consists of heating of thermoplastics material until they get melt and then injected into steel mold where it cools and solidifies to take its final shape the plastic material are usually received in the granule form or in the form of pallets it is placed in the hopper or poured on the hopper of the molding machine from which it is fed into the heated cylinder the granules are heated in the cylinder to melt or to plasticize the typical melting point is about 180 degree celsius it depends or it varies according to material thermoplastic material which you are pouring in the hopper the melting temperature varies isn't it the mold is usually made up of a steel and it is water cooled the plunger forces the molten plastic material from the cylinder into the mold where it cools and solidifies the mold is opened and the molded parts as well as attached runner is removed isn't it the animation itself shows all things same process i can elaborate from first first process whatever happening in this injection molding is the granules of plastic powder are poured or fed into the hopper which stores it until it is needed in second process a heater heats up the tube and when it reaches a high temperature a screw thread starts turning previously i have told you there is plunger which pushes the material now i am telling it here a screw thread starts turning there are two types of injection molding machine in first type piston and cylinder arrangement is used to push the powder from pallet sorry the powder from hopper to the heating zone now here in modified machines there is a lead screw arrangement which forwards the granules or pallets from hopper to heating zone and to heating zone to nozzle remember this third step a motor turns a thread which pushes the granules along the heater section which melts into liquid the liquid is forced into a mold where it cools into a shape fourth step the mold is then open and the unit is removed the mold keeps close until it solidifies and then mold is open and the object is ejected and we will get a solidified component same thing i have shown one plunger in the bottom below diagram and in upward diagram there is a lead screw arrangement isn't it next in this next diagram actual equipment or actual injection molding machine is shown next 
the materials used for injection molding process already i have told you that injection molding process is used to process the thermoplastic materials examples of thermoplastics are polyamide polypropylene polyethene polystyrene acrylbutylene styrene nitrite sorry acry acronitrile butylene styrene that means abs polyvinyl chloride or pvc these are the materials which are used to process through injection molding process applications the picture shows all the applications whatever in day to day life n number of applications are made up of injection molding process i have listed some of them in case of bottle caps automotive dashboards packaging packet combs pocket combs some musical instruments one piece chairs and small tables storage containers mechanical parts including gears baskets trays soap cases buckets all are the applications of injection molding process or these are the materials which are prepared by injection molding process next we will see advantages of injection molding process first advantage is the cycle time in this injection molding process is very less that's why this process is very fast production process generally the time required for this process is i will say step by step time required is for pouring the raw plastic material from hopper again to heat that raw plastic material some time is required then some time is required for clamping these two mold cavities some time is required for injecting this raw material sorry molten plastic material and some time is required for cooling this injected plastic in the mold and then it is ejected so this total time of the process called as cycle time is very less as compared to other process that's why it is a fast production process second advantage is the material and color flexibility you can use any kind of thermoplastic material to process through this injection molding and you can give any color by adding some additives like colorant in that raw plastic material third low labor cost yes fourth design flexibility yes you can make any complex geometric components by using this injection molding process because you have freedom to design the mold cavities according to that you will get the output final output product next high precision complex parts yes i have previously said you can prepare any complex geometries with high precision because you can give the less tolerances over the component because it is a precision manufacturing last one is the low waste the waste produced will be in the form of gates runners isn't it these will be the waste materials but it is in a low quantity disadvantages of injection molding it has a only one disadvantage that is high initial tooling cost near about 15 lakh to 20 lakh initial machine costs is there that's why it has a high initial tooling cost thank you thanks for my watching my videos on this youtube channel subscribe it like it in next or further videos we will discuss regarding other processes of processing the thermal